Good morning, friends. Today, I'll discuss about the improvements presently possible in construction management process. We are wasting a lot of resources and time in the construction. Roughly, we can say the wastage or the loss is a staggering 50%. 20% can be attributed to delays. 5 to 10% in QC, that's policy control. And another 5 to 10%, or say up to 20%, in the absence of resource sharing in construction management. Also, there are methods like artificial intelligence and integration of you know, softwares which can be connected together by which further improvements are also possible. So suddenly, without all this, we are wasting a lot of money. That means when we are actually building a building, we can build two, uh, two houses instead of one for the cost of one project. In the Resource sharing improvement alone, Uber has reduced the transportation services cost by 60%. So let us see how this can be achieved in construction. We'll discuss about the various submodules about such a system. We are talking about a six dimensional approach here. It's nothing but the 3D of the building, which is done by architectural, structural, etc. Then costing is another dimension, and the time is the another dimension. So 3D, once a building is ready, fourth dimension is time, and fifth dimension is costing. In the management circle, the time is managed by planning and the cost is managed by estimation. Once these things are ready, we can do the complete management of these five dimensions in the sixth dimension. Sixth dimension proposed is an integrated web enabled system by which the entire process can be connected from anywhere. The physical office is not required. You can connect from anywhere by laptop, iPad, or mobiles. So the information will be flowing from one place to another online, which will reduce a lot of problems in the industry. So let's see how you know, many of the aspects can be integrated. If you look at the ERP kind of a thing, these are the basic modules, engineering, planning, estimation, inventory, accounts, HR, QC. And once a drawing is ready, we can do a structural design and you know, detailing, by which drawings can be made in a shop drawing format, and you can get the very good drawings with warbening schedule, etc. Once these are produced, it can be automatically, you know, uploaded if you are using automatic systems. The warbening schedules can be automatically produced by the system. Here we are, you know, a possibility of an AI is possible. By the intelligence, the bars from a beam drawing will be converted to a BBS, and this can be exported to the ERP. That's in a web base, web area. The CAD will be in the PC environment, but the rest of the thing can be in the 
well. So, so many advantages we can get from the Bob Inning schedule implementation, which is listed. We can go through that later. And the Optimax is another system by which the bar bending data is arranged so that the wastage is minimal. Wastage is minimal. Let me explain about the STMAX system. In this, the CAD drawings are scanned by another system and the estimation is done automatically. So by scanning the structural and the architectural drawing, an estimation is prepared automatically by the software. This is done through an STMAX software system. I'll also give you a demo about the same. What you need to do is only, you know, just scan the drawing and it can create the center lines automatically and create the estimation. You can be, see the center lines being drawn by the system and using a center line methodology, this will create the quantities automatically from an AutoCAD drawing. So once architectural drawing is completed, you can do the similar thing for a structural drawing, where the beam concrete and column concrete, etc., will be scanned. Once these are ready, the system will be able to, you know, calculate the quantities automatically, and it will be able to give you a report in an Excel file from the system. The beauty of a connected approach is that this estimation file, which is an electronic document, which is available in Excel, can be exported to your ERP directly. So it's available now in Excel, which can be exported to your web enabled systems. Information regarding our projects can be seen in uh, the adspro.com. Here various softwares are listed. It is Adspro Engineering, Estimation, Optimation, Optimax Files, and the ERP systems. So coming back to what we were discussing, we got the files in an STMAX, an estimation file. And this, once it's exported to the web page, you can add the time. This is the items which you got from the STMAX file, which is uploaded in the web page. And you can see that the time is also added. So once the time is added to your activities, the entire other data, that the man material machine array data and the time data is connected for each task. This can be exported to Microsoft Project as shown here, or you can you know, further work on this. You can see that a menu is there for uploading STMAX file by which that STMAX file has come to the web enabled systems. The beauty of the web enabled system is that you can approach it from anywhere. Anybody can work from anywhere and it will be online. The data will be instant and people, the entire team can work on any projects anytime. Now the uh, material or the inventory modules can be connected by which your projects can be Uh, actually construction managed, the cost of everyday work, etc. can be added, physical stock, 
actual work done per day, everything can be connected. So once you do this, you can see the actual cost and the other cost, estimated cost versus the actual cost. So you will be able to use the construction management. It's connected to Google, WhatsApp, uh, web, other web-enabled systems by which you can get the entire information about your projects all the time. And at the end of the day, it will achieve the goals which I was discussing early, like you know, better resource sharing, delay reduction, and wastage reduction, and better improvement quality control, and by which the entire process will be manageable from anywhere in the world. Thank you.